guys there on Warfare 2G. Welcome back to some more Hearthstone number 13, uh, 14, actually. Holy cow. Um, I still have a quest to actually win with Priest. And I've made that like, as Priest. So I figured. Let's play some Priest. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can finally play some more games of, with this actual deck. <laughs> so let's do it. <coughs> oh, I need to get up my uh, deck list. Anduin versus Jaina. You asked for it. The light shall bring victory. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, mage. Uh, let's keep this hand. Pretty good. I'm pretty good curve as well. We're not, we're not we're gonna run into meta decks for a long time. Well, maybe. I don't know. Considering last time, we did sort of run into some constructed decks, but that was when I had was just having really bad decks. So. We'll see. Uh, let's play Shadow Ascendant. I could play Loot Forward, but in case he has Frostfall, I want to really want to make sure this lives. I want to get some more right like, uh, as much as possible. <clears throat> and kind of same deal with not playing Shadow Vision. Shadow Vision, we can. It's pretty safe to play at almost any time. <laughs> An incredible discovery! Okay, so here we're gonna right hit, away. heal, and then we're just gonna hit face. I don't want fade, I want to force him to fade first. I can't do five. If he has Frostbolt, fine. But otherwise, it's okay. Another one! Boy! Okay, so here we're gonna play Totola Shell Razor. G7 Totola's pretty good. Gotta protect my Shadow Ascendant. Oh my, Primordial Glyph. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so here I'm gonna hit, heal, and then shadow send number two. Pretty close, we can divine spirit and a fire. <laughs> or they can just get, or they can just get D, you know, we'll take that too. <laughs> There we go. Nice easy game. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh my God. Alright, we take those all day, any day. Oh my goodness. Okay, another priest. You give me strength. The light shall bring victory. Okay, I'm gonna toss the engineer because it's another priest. I yeah, anything else I'm gonna keep because if he's gonna have a lot of high house pot if like if he plays more shy cleric, I'm pretty screwed. So might as well. Oh my freaking Prince Malkasar. Oh, speaking of those shy cleric. Hello. Okay, so next turn, Shadow Center into Tar Cooper. This is pretty good. Oh my god, it's a quest freeze? What the fudge? That's what we got. For the golden. <laughs> okay. Should be interesting. Well, why is he running Prince Malkasar? Which is pretty bad. Okay, sure. Whatever. Boing. Out of my okay, god. <laughs> Just gonna play the Tar Keeper. I could hear how to heal it, but. 
I want to get some more bodies on board. I want to get like a bit bigger body. Okay, so that's fine. So we can probably, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to kill it using Tarpy for the Cleric and then probably play Nice Engineer. So we're going to heal. Right away. Ooh, I like the Shadow Vision. Okay. So I could play Shadow Sin and get some buffs going, but in case he has some sort of uh, air, um, AoE to kill all my stuff, we're not going to play into that. Same deal with like Novice Engineer. So let's just get a... Huh. I think I like the Unidentified Elixir here. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay, hopefully he doesn't have pint size potion and shadow with horror. That would suck a lot. Oh yeah, I'm recording this on the same day as 13. Tortola, uh, yes, 13. Okay, that's fine. Um I think we elixir of purity hit and then hero power. Yeah. Right Oof! Four attack is the best against Priest. Unless, again, if he has Pine Size, Potion, and Shadow of Aurora, this would really suck. But four attack minions against Priest is so good. So good. Tortola, preserve us! Okay, so here we're gonna hit it. Uh, heal you. This sort of doesn't matter. Right away. Um. Novice Engineer. Like, I really want to look for my Divine Spirit in a fire. Like, I'm in a fire, so I really want to look for, like, my Divine Spirit. That's a pretty bad buff. And I want to look for my Divine Spirits because I have some pretty bulky stuff. Really high health stuff, so I really want to find it fast before it wipes my entire board. For this Heal, draw a card. Second clear. Um. It's all on the show, is it? preserve us! Do my bit! If you're sure. And we done. Where are my divine spirits? Where's my shadow vision? Tortola, Tortola, Tortola. Come on, go on in. So we're gonna video on one so how we shield. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, hit. Oh, if you're sure. No shy cleric. No oh, shield. Hero power, heal. I think we got it. Shadow visions, divine spirit, inner fire. 20 damage! We had we had divine spirit and fire still in our deck. That's insane. That's why you really need shadow vision. Shadow vision helps so much when you can't seem to find your god dang divine spirit. <laughs> and sometimes it's okay to go like in that scenario we had a lot of mana and a lot of ways to draw cards. It's okay to go all in. 
Sometimes you don't want to go all in in case your opponent might have um, might have a way to clear your entire board. But sometimes it's okay to go all in if you plan it out correctly. And Another mage. Jane. <laughs> okay. You asked for it. The light shall bring victory. Um, we're gonna toss everything except for the ooze, cause ooze equals early game. Okay, not bad. Oh my god, it's a quest mage? What am I running into? This is a legit meta deck. Okay, so quest mage, also known as Exodia mage, you cast six spells at the start in your deck. You mainly get them from like... What is it? Cabalist Tome, Primordial Glyph, and Babbling Book, and like there's also another one, Ghastly Conjurer. And your reward is you get to take an extra turn. And so, there's a really cool Exodia combo you can do. Oh, he forgot the Hero Power. That's turn. That's okay, whatever. Um, and it's insane. Okay, so we're gonna pick Tark Reaper. Oh no, I dropped- I choose both my Divine Spirits. Ooh. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. We might have a tough time against Exodia Mage. Cause they're just gonna keep stalling out using some freeze effects. And then... They have Ice Block, which is gonna rotate out. So... Okay! This is gonna be fun. Hmm. <laughs> like I, uh, I don't know. I don't really, let's see. We'll see what we'll see what happens. I don't know. What, I don't know what the game plan is to win. I haven't played a quest against a quest mm. mage forever. So there's a couple different. There's like. Two really like main Exodia decks. One's a lot more better than the other. But we'll see. Okay, let's right hit. Away. Hero power. Oh, I could draw three cards if I hit my Tark Reaper against this. It's really good. Screw it. Yeah. Might as well. One, a two, and a three! Okay, so we're gonna play Shadow 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 we could power shield something, but I don't really want to do that yet. I think I'm really going to need to save this to help do a one turn kill with inner fire. Yeah, here we go. So they use a lot of these effects like Blizzard and Frost Nova. It's really annoying. Okay, so... Shadow Summon, Shield... And let's hit Swamp Blues. I need to dump the hand. I have a lot of friends. Haha, <laughs> cold light. My hand. Oh no, my one of my end fires. It's okay. We still have another end fire in Crazy Alchemist. Oh boy. What? Don't burn something good. And it's too Fudge. Tortola preserve Heal. Okay, I'm a coin. Shadow visions. Well, son of a gun. I guess we have to pick it up for it. 
Right away. It, <laughs> this way you can't just uh, kill off my smart creeper. Oh, this is so bad. The only other way I could potentially see winning this matchup is if I call Light Oracle and mill some of his cards. Which is possible, but it's just. I'm so tempted. Because we can go all in, and then maybe I can mill. Uh, maybe Elemental will be amazing. It's not really Elemental. Okay, let me count my math. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. So, okay. Uh, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, we can't, I can kill him, hmm. but I can't mill him, because I can power with shield and then buff, because this gives plus 2 health, so if I do 1 power with shield, double divine spirit, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, that's actually the best case, okay, yeah, so we're going to power with shield, we have to go all in. Double Divine Spirit, in a Fire. Shells up. Right away. This way he's down to one when he's when I pop his Ice Block. And then we Shadow Visions for another Inner Fire, because that's the last Shadow Visions. Okay. So that was the best case, so this was like probably like really good. Um, because that way we were able to kill off Pop the ice block. But you can do something like that. The end is Don't play a secret! Don't play a secret! Do not play a secret! <gasps> we won! Let's go! Oh my goodness! How to be a quest mage! First off, I'm gonna do a little bit of BM. Bad man. Full light. I want a middle card. My hand is too full. Oh. Instead of cards. Okay, we won. <laughs> Silence uh, gets rid of people's friends. Let's go! Oh my god! Woo! Wow, let's go! West Mage! That was pretty unfortunate for him. He didn't have the best. <laughs> The best way to do it, but yeah, this, I kind of like this is why I kind of like Totello and Shell Racer in my deck, in this deck, anyways. Having a six health doing. minion is really, is really useful. Let the hunt begin. The light shall bring victory. Cause he is so close to one turn killing them easily. Okay, we're gonna toss these two and keep the blue border. Oh boy, a hunter. Okay, this is pretty good. Oh baby, oh baby. Okay, so we play nothing. We're gonna play loot quarter. Right away. So, when you want to play loot quarter versus novice engineer, novice engineer is a battle cry. So. Um, it's a lot more flexible. Loot Hoarder, when it dies, is when you use it as a card. So it's not as flexible, so you want to play this as a more high priority. Okay, Toy Creeper. I think this might be a Spell Hunter, because he's running Flare. Spell Hunter, I pretty sure I also already showed this deck. Um, when we already played against this deck. He's mainly only, almost, most of the time, only spells. They might run a two card combo. Um, but yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, that's fine. So, Totola and Shell Razor. Totola, preserve us! Like, normally, they wouldn't. Um, people wouldn't see Totola and Shell Razor as a threat, but in this deck, since Divine Spirit is and Inner Fire is such a good combo, um, it's pretty strong. Okay. Um, okay, first we're gonna hit with the Tar Creeper and test the secret. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm playing Obvious Engineer. Hey, I do like my invention. <sighs> Shells nice. up! Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's Spell Hunter. It's probably like a cheaper Spell Hunter, but it's still a Spell Hunter nonetheless. Doges? Spellstone? What are you planning, my boy? I wonder. What are you doing? Evil Fungo? Super. I think it's safe to go in with Divine Spirit and a Fire. Oh, it's especially. Yeah, we, we're going in. Divine Spirit and a Fire. Shit in for 12. Um, he can punish me if he has Hunter's Mark and some sort of spell to do damage. But otherwise, pretty safe, I want to say. Because he used a decent amount of removal already, but he does have a decent si uh, decently sized this hand, so. Wow, that sucks! I am so sorry. That was... <laughs> that was like the worst case scenario. Oh no. That was legit like the worst case scenario. <laughs> oh, feels bad. Tank Master Overspark? What the heck? Okay, that's cute. Oh no. Feels bad. Alright. Anduin versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. All right, the same deal. We're just victory. gonna toss everything except for the ooze. Okay, it's not the greatest of hands, but we can make we can make something work. Hopefully. He pre-purchased the expansion. Or oh, pre-purchased some packs. And turn. It's gonna pass. We're probably gonna play Ooze into Tortola and Shell Razor. And then we'll see what we can do. What to do? Are you there, my dude? Time waits for no one. Well, girl, okay. So we're dealing with a uh, jade dude, I want to assume. Again, we've already seen this deck already. It's a pretty strong deck. I have a pretty... Like, I faced against this deck before, like, using, like, a much better version of this deck. Um, I say the matchup is really 50-50. If the Druid continuously, like, gains a lot of hmm. uh, armor, which they can, um, and gets a lot of taunt, Common Feast can, can lose. If Common Feast draws a ton of cards and has a good board, they can win. The land serves me. Okay, that's not usually played. It could still be J Druid. Um, if this is a not a variant, there you can make so many different versions of J Druid. Even though it's going to be a deck that's going to rotate out, but that that a lot there can be a lot of different versions of this deck. It's a decent amount. I know like three like mainly mm. good ones so maybe this is one of the variants but i don't know we'll have to see
Hmm. No. He's gaining all. Is this just a ramp shoot? Tremble what? What the fuck? It's just a ramp shoot. Where? Oh. Hmm. So it's a ramp druid. So basically, the main I I don't know what type of ramp druid this is. So basically, they just gain a since druids can gain a crap ton of more mana than you early on. Hmm. That's the main point. They they try to gain a lot of mana and then they just bring out a ton of big stuff that you can't deal with, and it's pretty effective. Uh, okay, if I wish you a tar creek bird. Oh Jesus, criminal. Um. Yeah, this is a pretty bad matchup. Um, what the fudge? This dude had like a perfect, like, probably a perfect opener. Holy crap. He got Wild Growth into Mire Keeper into Nourish. I'm at turn 4 and he's already at 9 mana. That's insane. And stupid. But yeah. What the fudge? Hmm. I have no clue. We'll see. I am the essence of magic. Oh crap. Nine mana four twelve mana goes. Spell damage plus five. Shell. Kill this. I'm actually scared he might have something. So we're gonna mass this spell. And then just pass. I am actually pretty scared. If he does have a... I don't think he will, but in case he also has like an ultimate infestation, that would suck if he can deal 10 damage to me. Oh, jeez. Let's see, let's see. I don't know, I haven't found like what to do. my uh, divine spirits or shadow visions. So, this is exactly going great. And I remember, he's already at 10 mana. So, oh, brother, this is gonna take a bit. Twig of the World Tree! Yeah, he's definitely some one turn kill that. Gain 10 mana, definitely gain 10 mana crystals. This takes like five turns to break, which is a lot more balance, I guess, but dang. Swipe? Wait, why did he just swipe? He could have just swiped the tar creeper. How stupid. Okay, um. Rotola Shell Razor. Move order. Oh my god, what is this, dude? Oh my god, this, this could have been deal nine and six. Six damage to all the enemies. Oh boy. What? I guess he just wants some four. Because otherwise you don't want to. Face is manipulated! Oh my goodness. Okay, smart, smart. He doesn't want it to get buff. I mean, it doesn't matter, but you know. Silence, okay. This isn't going so hard. Modest Engineer. Okay, we bump both the, the uh, and the fires, but that ain't gonna be good. This is bad. I haven't found my divine spirits, and I'm, I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> He's just clearing all my stuff, which is how I'm gonna lose. Oh, you locker! Yeah, this is insane. Like, actually just straight up lost. Okay, we get double cola and mill him a card and we can... Screw it. I'm just gonna YOLO for right now. I don't think we can really win. Spectacular. My hand is too... Well played. 
Yeah, I think he was just gonna concede. Well play. You have he he had a per he had nearly a perfect opener. Like that is like the dream opener. That's insane. Like that was, no, yeah, no, that was just so perfect. I can't I can't deal with that. I legit just can't deal with that. That was just like the best opener you can ever have. Let the games begin. Unbelievable. That was nuts. I can't do anything against that. Like, if I don't have a board, I can't win. <laughs> Simple as that. So, oh well, that's okay. Next game. That was insane. It's like drawing all pieces of Exolia. Turn one. Or something like that. I don't know. Like, that was just that was just crazy. Uh play loose. Play loop one if he just paints it and I don't really want him to. I could do that some other time. I can let him waste his sort of waste his mana. Waste a turn another time. I ain't talking. Damn. Oh also need to follow my total shell razor. Well, that's pretty bad. So I wish you could ooze. And then I play with quarter. Dang it, uh, any, I, one in three, I really didn't want him to take out my Chris Alchemist, that sucks. Dirty Rat, is this a control mage? Oh my god it is, so, big spell mage, if you couldn't tell, basically just puts a lot of big cost spells in their decks, and to just control the board, the big spells usually it's just a ton of board clears to clear your board, so you can't do anything. Oh, uh, let's just play the gun. Uh, so yeah, you can draw them easily with Raven Familiars, and then um, it's it's a really good, it's a pretty decent control deck. The Elementals, and they have the Frosted Jaina. And then if I Elixir. And. Okay. So, throw a shield, heal power. Heal the power. We could circle, but I'm kind of hoping we find a North Shot Cleric first, so let's wait on that. Looks like the Shadows could be pretty good. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Hold on, I talk to you for free. The end is coming. What? Okay. Um. What do you see? Uh, I'm really hoping for an offshot cleric here. That's the best draw. No. Okay. Well then, we got ourselves a predicament. I could either silence the dirty rat or doomsayer. I think I'd rather silence the doomsayer. That way you can have a useless minion on board. So silence. Heal. Hit. 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 Go face. Go face because he can probably clear my board pretty easily. I know he has flame strike because he drew it from Raven Familiar, so I might as well go face. No reason to try to trade. He can trade for me. Like that. God dang, this is a buffed up ooze. Oh. And then you have Dragon's Fury. Ah! <laughs> and then he has something like Dragon's Fury, which is awesome. And then you also have like Arcane Spire. Oh, uh, this is bad. I can't do that. Well, I think we lost the guy. <laughs> Why am I running into like 
Let the can these control decks and stuff, me. man? Come on, turn me some slack. Televisions again. Another divine spirit. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, I should have taken. Yeah, you know what? I'm. That was actually more of a misplay. I should have picked master spell. That way I can stop silence his acolyte pain so I'm from drawing cards. But and I can draw a card as well. But. Oh my god, I basically lost already. Like, he just drawing a crap ton of cards. I know he has a ton of removal. I think we're just gonna go skip to the next game. You have best. My. Yeah. Okay, do we not want into like any more control decks? Like, this is just. <laughs> this is nuts. Come on. Play some slack here, Blizzard. You can afford to. Versus None can escape my fury. The light shall bring uh, victory. Let's toss these two. Okay. Not bad. So turn two, we can play Radiant Elements on Power with Shield. That's pretty good. Okay, let's let's get the goal in here. <laughs> oh wow, that's pretty good. So uh, double power shield. Plus some cards. Oh, that's okay. That could be really good. So we can elixir shadows and then like inner fire next turn. Let's get it. That's Kingsbane Rogue. Okay, so Kingsbane Rogue. Um, once I show, once we see him actually play Kingsbane. Okay, so let's play Shadow Visions. Pretty bad. There you go. Uh, I think I'm okay with the Divine Spirit. Give me 10 damage right now. Pretty good. So, as soon as he shows his King's Bane, <laughs> um, I'll show you how, I'll basically tell you why it's for Voldemort. Unless this is the King's Bane rope for some reason, but I'm pretty sure it is. Like 99.9% sure it is. What? What you doing? Okay. Damn. I could call it Oracle, but I don't want to give him cards. Still okay, so never mind. So King's Bane is a 1 mana 1 3 legendary weapon, death battle. Well, first off, it keeps the buffs on the weapon. And second off, death battle, when you when the weapon's destroyed, it shuffles um into the deck. Uh, so basically. I concede. If you don't do something like this. <laughs> um. Basically, you buff the weapon to living heck and you use a lot, like, d using deadly poison, then you have, like, leeching poison, which gives your weapon lifesteal, which means you have infinite HP, and then you have a bunch of other cards that work with it, like Doomerang, which 
literally throws the weapon and then you get it back and then you have like blade flurry which destroys all minions using based on the attack of the weapon it's it's a cool one. what should i do like Ooh, we ain't allowed to go that's really nice okay Shop soon. These two. So you won't be able to buy these two. I'm actually considering buying like some packs from here just because I could get legendary. And right now, for the cards I've seen some from Witchwood, unless I'm being way too pessimistic. About these, about those cards, I just really don't think they're not. I just really don't think right now we've seen many good cards. Some of them are decent, but I don't know. I'm hoping when they do the final card reviews live stream, that they're gonna reveal some juicy cards. Cause like if we if we pull up Hearthstone really quick, like they reviewed a lot of cards already. Um. They revealed a crap ton of cards. If my rapper will work. Ooh, time to read this. Um, oh, time to keep playing for 21 minutes. But no, um... Like, so far... These are all pretty iffy. Really situational, really weird. Like, this is okay. This is pretty good. Like, what can I say? I was like, from like judging it for right now, it's probably pretty good. Hunting Master is pretty good. Black Cat's pretty good, even though it's pretty situational because only because you have to build your deck around it odd cards cards um this is fairly good it's balance that's fairly good maybe nightmare is pretty good um uh, wow we're actually just missing one vote card holy crap uh Lord Garfi is pretty good, even though he's pretty slow. Oh my god, we almost have all the Lord cards as well. Holy crap. Uh, we have all the neutral legendaries. These two are pretty cool. I'm gonna say Baku's definitely the better one. Well, I don't know. This is a situation, but Baku's pretty good. Again, I'm not too sure. We'll have to see when we uh, when the expansion hits. Uh, which would Grizzly? I guess is pretty good. Like, I've only said like a few, like not like maybe like five cards are good. The rest of them are so iffy. Again, it's only like right our first impressions because we technically have never played with the cards yet. So I have no clue how good these cards could actually be when we actually see them in play. But I just don't think most of them are that good. Just too situational. Just don't fit the meta right now. Meta's gonna change. The decks that are gonna be played right now are gonna really change. But I don't know. I don't know. I will, okay, I guess for right now, I'll still say this, save your gold until we see the last, the final card review live stream. I will try to do a video and get the video up as soon as possible 
to give my impressions of what could be really good and if if it's even worth it. I still want to keep. You still want to. I want to say keep at least one fifty gold for an amina. Cause uh, it's gonna be pretty fun to try out playing some of these cards in the arena. A lot of these cards could be really good, are good in arena. I just don't know about constructing, which is the main thing we're gonna try to go for. So I don't know. It's still technically kind of early for me to judge, but and I could very well be hundred percent wrong. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Of course, you to hit the like button down below. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I will see you guys next time. Take care.